And I, I came up with this rule uh, when I was once coming to see Martin Gardner, and usually he met me at the airport. And I arrived at Kennedy Airport, and he wasn't there. And that really frightened me because I didn't know how to get in touch with him. I didn't know a telephone number and I didn't know how to manipulate the American telephone system. You know, even if I had them. This was in the days of coin boxes and stuff. So I thought, oh well, I'll wait for a time. And, and I waited and I waited and I waited. And after about two hours, he turned up. <sighs> he, he was gasping, he ran in, he said, you'll forgive me as soon as you, you hear what it was. And what he'd found was a rule for working out the day of the week by Lewis Carroll, Charles Lefitz Dobson, um, as he taught me how to pronounce it. And um, it, this was in Nature for 1870-something, and he was in the New York Public Library, and he found this, and he knew that the Lewis Carroll fans in the Lewis Carroll Society of North America did not know about this. Um, and so he stood in line for the copy machine and he realised he'd been late. By that time he'd been less than 20 minutes time in the queue. And then he realised he'd been a lot later, but by that time he'd invested even more. But anyway, as we zipped ourselves into his car and he showed me the copy he'd made of his and um, he said it's a very interesting rule. And when we got back to his house in 10 Youth in Avenue, had some tastings on Hudson, uh, he had about 20 rules for working out the day of the week in his filing cabinet. And this was better than any of them, a long way better. And then he said, John, you know what you ought to do? You ought to work out a rule that's easy enough for me to teach my readers. And that's what I did. And it uses one of the ideas from Lewis Carroll. I don't think I'll bother to say which. Lewis Carroll is quite a complicated.